So I'm a submarine pitcher in high school, and my question for you was, what would you recommend me throwing from that arm slot? I currently throw a splitter, slider, and a sinker, and I was just wanting your input to see what you think. Thanks. That's a great question, man. Thank you so much for the question. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, I was a professional pitcher in the San Diego Padres and New York Mets organizations when I was in college at Auburn University. I'm a, no, I don't have my Auburn hat on. I have it right here, though. War Eagle. Um, but I was a submarine pitcher my junior year at Auburn, and then I kind of came up to a sidearm slot. So I know about uh, pitching submarine and uh, sidearm. So this is a great, great question and very dear to my heart. And in fact, you throw the three same pitches that I used to throw. Um, actually, you said split finger. I didn't throw a split finger. I threw a fork ball instead of a split finger. Very similar pitches, though. Um, but I didn't bring that in till later in my career. So I would say that you don't necessarily need that pitch. In fact, my senior year of college, I only threw a sinker um, until the end of the season. The scout said, hey, listen, I really like what you're doing um, and like how you pitch, but can you throw another pitch uh, so I can draft you a little bit higher? So I said, okay, and I started throwing the slider. Then when I got to pro ball, they were actually ranked number one in the organization. My sinker was the number one sinker, number two fastball overall, and my slider was number one. And the whole organization, out of all the pitchers, both of those pitches were ranked number one. So I know a little bit about the sinker and the slider as well. For those of you who don't know as well, I have a advanced sinker and slider training course. So if you're interested in throwing those two pitches and learning what I know about those two pitches, uh, you can click this up here or link in the description um, and check out that program. It's on sale now. But let's get into answering the question. And I kind of want to go, you, you throw what I threw, so I, I'm not really going to answer you specifically in regards to what pitches, but I want you to understand what your whole goal as a submarine or sidearm pitcher is. And your whole number one goal, actually there's two big things, is gonna be getting depth on your pitches, so downward movement on all your pitches, and being deceptive. That's why you're so effective. Sidearm guys, submarine guys are effective because they're deceptive and they have downward movement on their pitches. If you can maintain these two things, no matter what pitches you throw, uh, then you're going to be successful, right? You're, the general rule of thumb for pitching and being successful as a pitcher is you want to disrupt the batter's timing and his balance. So you can do that as a, as a sidearm pitcher, submarine pitcher. Um, also, with your deceptiveness can mess up their timing. We, talk, we always talk about, and I talk about in some of these episodes, um, messing up batter's timings with, their, with a fastball, which would be your sinker, and a slow ball, which would be your slider or your fork ball, or excuse me, uh, split finger. So you have that aspect, and then to mess up their balance, you can pitch in, pitch out, pitch up, pitch down, locate those pitches, right? <clears throat> but the main two things is to maintain your deceptiveness, um, and all that has to do is make sure you're staying in the same spot all the time. Even, even mixing it up a little bit is okay, but if you're coming up into a more conventional slot, th that's what those guys see a lot. So you have kind of built-in benefit by pitching submarine or pitching sidearm. So maintain that and then make sure that all your pitches have downward movement, okay? All your pitches go down. It's okay if they go a little bit sideways, but mostly down. The reason why is because on a swing plane, the when the batter starts to swing, he's swinging on a plane that he believes the pitch is going to be on. And if your pitch moves sideways on that plane or, or slightly Diagonal because that's kind of how the bat goes through the zone slightly slightly diagonal if your pitch moves that way Then he can stay on that pitch and even if he fouls it off or if he's late or early He can still get a base hit in between the lines or just foul it off But if you have downward movement that misses a lot more bats and bats that do hit that ball Usually hit it into the ground. That's why submarine guys um, Sidearm guys get a lot of ground balls and ground balls are great you can get two outs with one pitch on a double play. That's why sidearm guys are so effective. And that's all I tried to do. I didn't really necessarily try to strike a lot of guys out. I'd let them hit it on the ground. Easy outs. You got five in infielders there. They'll scoop up a lot of stuff. So if you can throw a lot of ground balls, a heavy fastball, heavy sinker, um, you're going to get a lot of ground balls. You're going to get a lot of swing and misses. Just remember, the big idea is to get the depth on your pitches. Depth on your pitches. You've got the deceptiveness from being side armor submarine and just attack guys. Don't be afraid. Go after them. If you got those two things going for you, go after them. I hope you guys like this one. Don't forget to check out that sinker and slider um, training program. It's on sale if you're interested in throwing those two pitches. And uh, 
let me know if there's anything I could do. Ask me any questions you have down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're trying to be a better baseball player, better pitcher. Click that logo right there, hit the subscribe button, and then go watch this video. You're going to like it. I'll talk to you guys there.